What's going on YouTube? Uh, Cole here from BC Belt Burners. And today I'm gonna show you guys what I did to repair my three inch 165 track. It's on a 2021 ski at 50 turbo. It's got three about 3000 K on it. Um, so I'm just gonna sh run you through the process I did here. Basically I'd split three lugs right at the bottom caught it on a tree branch. I'll insert the clip right here. So uh, now that you've seen what I did, it's an everyday occurrence in the back country. So uh, if this repair works, I'm gonna be pretty stoked because 1500 to two grand for a track is uh, not cheap. So basically what I did was I searched a couple forms and uh, the guys recommended to use this Loctite 404. It's very expensive stuff. Um, being from Canada, I uh, ordered it through Lordco. Uh, it was like a day out, um, pretty small bottle, but got the job done for these three. And then also the guys recommended this E6000. A lot of people recommended the Loctite over the E6000, but I figured I'd give both a try and uh, um, see how they do. I got really nothing to lose. If they come off, they come off, whatever. But um, So what I did here was I took a heat gun, which I got here, the Super Stripper 1500, and I peeled back the lug heated it up to get it up to temp. Um, that's what they recommended. Um, actually, before that, I took a scotch Bright pad and I roughed it up, kind of like you were patching an inner tube. And um, then I heated it up with a heat gun. I had my dad pull the three inch lug back so I could get the Loctite into the where the delamination and the split was. So I just filled the whole area with Loctite pushed it forward it dries really really fast quite fast um so once it was dry and kind of set up i put this uh clamp on it the bungee cord pulling the lug forward just so it can't separate uh, i did that on the th these two as well these two were not as bad as the back one i'll insert a picture here for what the back one looked like before the repair um and yeah you guys can take a look tell me what you think this is what the uh, the repair went. It's pretty straightforward. What I'm gonna do once this dries, I'm about to give it a, a day, about 24 hours. I'm gonna come back through here at the E6000 and I'm just gonna go over the split areas on either side. So I'm just gonna cover it with the E6000. The split in the middle, I'm gonna do the same. I didn't tell you guys about this one, but yeah, it's split right here in the center. So I glued it with the Loctite. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back through there with the E6000 tomorrow and uh, just to give it a little extra reinforcement. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, do a follow-up video with this video. So the next clip you'll see will be me uh, showing you guys after the first ride versus second ride to see how it's standing up and if it actually works, if it's worth spending the basically 60 bucks that I spent to uh, get the glue and uh, yeah. It's got to be a little cheaper than putting a new track on it. So if it gets me through the season, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, thanks, guys. I'll uh, let you know how it goes. So I'm doing a follow-up video here so I can uh, post this up and uh, tell you my thoughts on the glue and how it held up. Obviously, it didn't hold up. As you can tell, I lost all three lugs that I tried to repair. Um, this one came off first. It lasted probably three or four rides. Um... And then it was like another three or four rides and then this one peeled and then this one held on the whole time it wasn't until about the last ride that this one peeled off um what's on there right now is an e6000 over the DLAM. um just trying to get through the last basically month and a half of riding out here in british columbia um the only one that i will say the glue worked for is this middle one where the split was as you can see it's got a thousand k on it and it's not split it's still holding strong so if you have a lug that's split 
this way vertical, I'll say, yeah, that Loctite 404 should work well. Um, but if it's split at the very bottom, good luck. I, I think you're end up just replacing the track like I'm going to end up doing next year. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to finish up this video and get it posted. See everyone, if it's worth spending the money on the expensive glue. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's not worth it. So thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you on the next one.